a little bit of cloud cover came over in the afternoon and you could feel the moisture in the air. Termites, obviously from the previous rains, chose this time to start coming from the ground and flying, looking for mates. There was an incredible amount of bird activity drawn to this. There were carmine bee eaters and a lot of martens and swifts. And the activity was incredibly intense and soon joined by a lot of kites. As the kites started to circle and become active, vultures started to come in as well. This got the attention of the lions and they all moved slowly towards this activity. They believed probably that it was a kill of some sort that they could scavenge or chase somebody off. The lions really looked quite confused. The male was ready to assert himself to claim whatever prize he could. And there was nothing. They believed probably that it was a kill of some sort that they could scavenge or chase somebody off. The pride and the other cubs slowly joined them. And they just lay about amongst these birds. The most beautiful were the carmine bee eaters, brilliant red flashing around and the only thing I wouldn't want to be in this day is a termite. With the bird activity it looked like any termite that actually took to flight got taken. The survival rate of those that did take to flight must have been minimal. There's just no way of escaping this onslaught from the birds. The kites were incredibly beautiful to watch. They often take a lot of insects on the wing, continually catching with their legs and eating as they fly. All of the kites were really feasting on these termites. They flew with crops incredibly full. It was an incredible evening, rather surreal, and only when we really backlit the whole activity could you see the termites scurrying from the, from the ground and taking to flight, and how quickly they are taken up. It was a magical afternoon and one of those really amazing times that summer brings. <laughs>